Hey guys, just did Miss Jen Fabulous's nail tutorial on the Galaxy nails, and I wanted to show you guys this hand is actually unfinished right now. I didn't put the top coat glitter over it, um, but this one, it's all finished besides for a final top coat. I've got the glitters, and my thumb is on done, if you're wondering, but I didn't put the big glitters on yet. I don't know if I'm going to. Um, but I'll talk about that in a sec. So, this is what the hand looks like without the glitter top coat. So, the glitter definitely pulls things together, but I feel like, in a way, it looks kind of nice without the top coat. But the thing is, you can see the sponged on texture because we sponged the color on. So, um, that's one thing I don't like, but I really like this effect without the glitter. I'm just going to show you guys some color recommendations and the colors I use today because, um... I know in Miss Jin Fabulous's video, I'll link that tutorial in the bottom bar because I don't want to, you know, do this tutorial again because she did a really good job and I already did my nails so I can't film a tutorial for you guys. But, um, she used a lot of OPI polishes and China Glaze and I just want to suggest some equally good lower and cheaper alternatives that I absolutely love. And a lot of these polishes I mentioned in my huge nail polish haul. So if you're interested in nail polish hauls, I'll link that down below for you as well. Um, and this design is really, really nice, especially because there's practically no drying time except for the black. Once you got the layer, the basic layer of black dried, there's pretty much no drying time because you're sponging on a super thin layer of polish. So that's really awesome. For the black, actually, instead of just using a plain black, I used a shimmery black. And it's just got silver sparkles in it. And this is by Simple Colors, which a lot of the polishes that I show you are going to be by Simple Colors. But it just gives a nice added touch instead of just a plain black. But of course, you could use a black if you wanted to. And then I used a four colors total for dabbing sponging onto the um, nail and practically you could use any nail polish that you want. But I'm going to show you guys some colors that I think would be really good for this technique and just overall in general I feel like just the sheer the polish the better. Um, if you use super opaque ones you'll have to be careful otherwise it'll kind of turn out like what I have on my middle finger right here. See that pink was really opaque and I kind of couldn't like cover that up or anything. It still looks okay, but you just have to be more careful with that. So I think just sheer colors that don't work by themselves will work great for this look, especially because of the black base. So the first one I use is a Midnight Blue, and it's by Simple Colors, and it's a gorgeous blue. It's got like some polishes, you could just look at it from the bottle and you could tell the like consistency or texture. If you want to see it on my nails, I don't know if you can tell which one's which because I use a couple of simple colors, but right here that's the dark blue and it's just, it's gorgeous. And the next one I use, which is actually my favorite, I think this is like the best color for this technique, this is in Love Nails. And this is what that looks like. So if you want to see, it's just this one. It blended really well with the darker blue. It just, it's a perfect combination. And then I use kind of like a minty green color. This is a mint apple. And it's not super opaque, but it's not super sheer. It's definitely more opaque than the other, other colors that I've showed you. But it's really nice and it goes with the theme of colors really well. I mainly use bluish, greenish kind of colors besides the pink. And it's really pigmented by itself, which I think is what the problem is. But this is in Soulmate, also by Simple Colors. All of the polishes that I've showed you so far are by Simple Colors. And this is a gorgeous pink, but if you don't dab it with a light enough hand, it will turn out something like this, which I don't specifically like. Some other great kind of duochrome, kind of reflective, cool consistency polishes that are totally awesome for this um, galaxy design. The first one is in Let Me Go by Simple Colors. Like when I first saw the swatch online, it was just amazing and I had to get it. The next one will be really great if you're doing more of like a pink and red tone theme. This is in Bailey Mist and this is what that looks like. And it's also, it has the pretty much the exact same consistency as Let Me Go. It's got, you know, different colors and there's the name. And the next one is a little bit different. This is in Gorgeous. It, the consistency is a little bit different. It's more like the first Midnight Blue that I showed you. But this is like actually a dupe for Mermaid to Order. I have both and they are the exact same thing. And the glitter top coat that I used 
is the Wet n Wild, um, I don't know what kind this is, but it's in this pyramid kind of shape. And this is in Psycho. So there's that. And this smells so bad. I don't know why. And the last one, which is the one that I think I might use today, is in Frenzy. And it's a purple pink tone and I just think it's gorgeous. So I think it's just a great thing to try out. And it's super easy. No drying time besides the base. So I think that's another great thing about it. So yeah, that's all. I'm going to go finish up and add a top coat to it so that the colors won't chip. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!